we have one question from this chapter quadratic equation that's a key space question it says john and priya went for a picnic small picnic and after having lunch ins they insisted on travel in a, a motor boat the speed of the motor boat was is given as 20 km per hour and priya being a mathematics student wanted to know the speed of the current so she noted the time of the upstream and the downstream and what she found that the distance which they covered was 15 km both way while going or coming is 15 each and he found that while covering it takes one hour more for the upstream it's one hour more for the upstream and down, downstream that's very obvious when we move against the stream we have to travel we takes long it takes longer uh, time to cover with the same speed now we have some questions based on these uh, information but we'll be dealing with that later let's frame the quadratic equation now what you should know that let's say this is a, a river and let's say this is uh, being a boat here now what we know that whenever a boat moves in the direction in which the water is flowing that is current then the speed gets added like one is the speed of current another is the original speed of the boat so they will get added and uh, yeah and when the boat moves in the direction opposite to the direction in which the current is moving that's the spare speed resultant speed will get obtained by subtracting so that's the reason why i'm taking the speed in the upstream as 20 minus x and the downstream as 20 plus x reason is given right over here it's given that speed of the boat current is x and the speed of the boat so when you move against the stream it is uh, speed of the boat minus speed of the stream and towards the st stream or to downstream this they are added now you must be noticing here that i wrote 20 minus x and not why not x minus 20 there's a reason and it's very important that the speed of the boat right the boat speed has to be great it cannot be right it cannot be less than the speed of the stream otherwise a person which has to move from a to b will and if it is less the speed of the boat is less it will move in the opposite direction and that's a very important thing otherwise the quadratic equation frame will be wrong now let's figure out the, the other information we can find out the time in each case the time say i i go for the upstream first time is equal to distance upon speed and what is the distance here distance is 15 so it's going to be 15 and the speed as we can see that's upstream speed is this that is 20 minus 6. now similarly we'll find time in the second case that is downstream is going to be the distance remains the same like they are traveling from A to B and back to A again. So whatever is A to B, same as B to A. So it's going to be 15 over 20 plus 6. Now, if we are given the difference in time, as you can see from here. The difference in time is given. Let's show you once again. Right, you can see the time which is mentioned here. As the difference in time is one hour so clearly when you travel when you go by upstream is it takes longer time that means slower the speed that greater the time taken that means this minus this will give you the difference of time which is one hour so i'll write here 15 over 20 minus x and 15 over 20 plus x is equal to one now i can take 15 common take 15 common from here so it's going to be 1 over 20 minus 6 minus 1 over 20 plus 6 is equal to 1 later i can transpose this 20 on the other side and factorize it Now what I'm doing is uh, tra transposing 15 to the other side. So it will be 1 over 15. And on this side, we'll have 20 minus 6. The LCM is 20 minus x and 20 plus x. So clearly, this is 1 multiplied by 20 is 20 plus x. And minus 1 multiplied by this should give you minus 20 and plus x. We can see that this 20 and 20 get cancelled. On the further simplification, we have numerator as 2x and denominator 
by applying a plus b into a plus b a minus b identity a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square so 20 square which is 400 minus x square is x square is equal to 1 over 15. Now I'll do cross multiplication so it comes out to be cross multiplication 15 into 2 is 30x and 1 multiplied by this is 400 minus x square. Now, what next I'm going to do is to frame it, uh, the quadratic equation in the standard form. I'm transposing x squared to the left. There is positive 30x and transposing 400 to the left is minus 400 equal to zero. Now we need to factorize uh, 400 and to obtain three. So from 40 to three, like, uh, let me factorize it if I do this. So what I'm doing, I'm ignoring this is one zero and this two zero, right? So we can we can do it properly to show the working. This is two over two hundred with two, it is hundred with two, it is fifty, and with two, it is twenty five with five, it is five again. So we need thirty. So what I can see that this is uh, yeah, this much. This is how much? 40 and this is 10. So from 40 and 10 we can get. So I'm splitting this 30 here. So I'm going to split this 30. So this is what? X square and uh, 40X plus 40X minus 10X minus 400 equals zero. So when I take x common from here, I'll get x plus 40. And when I take minus 10 common from here, it is again x minus 40. Oh, sorry, on changing the sign. Taking minus common, so we are getting x plus 40 and this has x minus 10 equals 0. Now equating this with 0, we are getting x is equal to minus 40. And the speed cannot be negative, so you can discard it. And in this case, we are getting x is equal to 10. So we got the speed of the boat which is coming as 10. So we can write the speed of the uh, boat. No, we had to find the speed of the stream. We got as 10 kilometer per hour. Now let's figure out what the questions that we have to find out. In the first case, we have to find what will be the speed of the motor boat. Well, I can see speed of the motor boat. Just they ask for what will be the speed of the motor boat. I can see that the speed of the motor boat is already mentioned 20 km per hour. So we don't have to write oh in upstream, right? In upstream. So that means you have to find the stream, the speed motor boat. So it's going to be what 20 minus x and we have got x as 10. So 20 minus 10 that is equal to 10 is the answer for this first part. Say so. Answer for the first part here is going to be 20 minus 10, that is 10 kilometer per hour. Then, what is the relation between speed, distance, and time? Here, that's very easy. We know that uh, speed is equal to distance over time. Now, what is the correct uh, quadratic equation for this speed? So, we have obtained the quadratic equation, and I can see this is the first one here. Is this is the equation for the first one? This is the quadratic equation obtained here. What is the speed of the current? And we obtain the speed of the current as 10 km per hour. And how much time the boat time the boat took in downstream? And the time in the downstream is this one. Time in downstream is 15 over. So I can write this time as 15 over 20 plus x. And x is how much? 10. So 20 plus 30. 20 plus 10 is 30. So that is one by two, that is half hour, or you can say 30 minutes. You can say half hour or half hour is same as 30 minutes. We'll say this is the time taken for the downstream. 